Lopez with the wind at his back, blowing at about 20 miles per hour, will kick this off. High end over end kick going into the end zone is Hayes. He'll watch it sail over his head. Stadium. Four down linemen for Middle Tennessee on third down. Applin has time, throws left side, caught by Stockmer. First down inside Middle Tennessee territory. Tennessee, the Red Wolves driving on uh, their opening possession. Applin will fake the handoff, keeps it. Lots of room on the left side as a first down and more inside the 25. To the left now, Oku in the left slot will motion into the backfield. They give it to him, runs right, big hole. 15, 10, Oku tries to cut back inside. Now he's knocked out of bounds by Kevin. The H-back on the right, he goes in motion. Twin receivers split out to the left. Applin will fake the handoff, keeps it. He's in, untouched, touchdown, Arkansas State. In quarter, he stayed up seven to nothing. Throw it out right side, picked off by Nathan Harold. He could score. He's across midfield inside the 45 40, finally run down from behind at about the 33 yard line. Nathan Harold with the pick. Receiver on the right. Now Oku will motion into the backfield. They hand him the football, running right inside the five. Oku diving for the pylon. He's in. Touchdown, Arkansas State. David Oku with his 15th rushing touchdown of the season. A 6'3", 248-pound junior. They give it to Watley, trying to run right. He's going absolutely nowhere. Nate Harrell split out to either side. Applin has time, throws deep over the middle. It's caught at midfield. McKissick eludes a defender, gets inside the 45, down to the 42-yard line. School teammate. Kinsey, the H-back on the right, three receivers for Applin. They give it to the motion man. Rocky Hayes has room on the right side. 35-30, inside the 25, finally tackled from behind by Byard at about the 19-yard line. Applin from the gun, Oku stands to the left of him. Throw it out right side, caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Josh Jarbo. Touchdown, Arkansas State. Center. Corbelly goes in motion as Kilgore will hand it off to Parker and he runs into Nick Nelms. He didn't pick it up on fourth down. Well, he by Delta Dental of Arkansas. Twin receivers split to either side as Applin play action going deep down the middle looking for Jones. It's caught. 10 5 touchdown, Arkansas State. 59 yards. Applin to Julian Jones. Anything, just listen to the crowd. A State is running away from the Blue Raiders here in the first half. A four score lead with 941. Four receivers, twins to either side. Hand off Parker. He's going absolutely nowhere. Tackled by Dexter Blackman at the Brought a lot of pressure today as Amplin will fake the handoff, keeps it left side, lots of room. First down to Moore across midfield, 45-40, and finally goes down at the 37. Tennessee with four down linemen will bring five. A-State picks up the blitz, throw it out left side, caught by Stockhammer. First down inside the 25, inside the 20, down to the seven seconds remain here in the first half. A-State trying to add on to a 28 to nothing lead before the intermission. They give it to the motion man, Hayes, inside the 10, inside the five, diving for the pylon. He's in, touchdown, Rocky Hayes, touchdown, Arkansas State. Well, we're going to give you a little bit. We're going to give you Rocky Hayes coming wide around the left side and all speed. He got enough blocks to get him into the secondary. He dives into the end zone. Receivers split out to the left. One receiver on the right. They're going to pitch it left side. Drayton Calhoun tried to string it out, and he'll be tackled by who else but Nate Harold for about a two. We'll switch sides, stand to the left of Ryan Applin. On third and short, Applin throws over the middle, caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Kendrick Murray. Touchdown, Arkansas State. Well, what a fake to David Oku. What a master Ryan Applin is. Football. The student section swaying back and forth to the Jaws theme as this will be returned by Griswold from the one-yard line and a big stick at the 15. What a stop on special teams yet again for A-State. Well, it's Arquez Brown, young man, I, I'm proud to say, from Newport, Arkansas. 
and did he ever put a hit and, and the best thing that he did was not celebrate too much because when you hit a, a player like that and put him upside down with the a state will bring pressure on the edge here they give it to parker he'll be brought down for a loss once again it's amos draper his second Nine tackle the red wolves from their own 21 ball on the right hash play clock down to one as Bryce Giddens gets the snap off just in time, trying to go over the middle, and McCants able to make the catch after he juggled Third it. quarter, four down lineman for Middle Tennessee. Applin going deep over the middle. It's caught inside the 45 of Middle Tennessee by R.J. Fleming, and how great. Ball marked in the center of the field. Fresh set of downs for the Red Wolves at the Middle Tennessee 30-yard line. Delayed draw, they hand it off to Oku. Has some room on the left side, 25-20. Inside the 15 will be knocked out of bounds. Oliver to snap, Sullivan to hold. This is from 21 yards out, and it is up and dead solid perfect. 12 seconds into the fourth quarter. Our score is now A-State 45, Middle Tennessee nothing. We'll be back after next work. play. Kilgore all alone in an empty backfield. Has five receivers. Trips right, twins left as the pass is bobbled. Was it intercepted? It was. Blackman go into the game. <laughs> no, he wasn't. He was over there. He was one of them giving him the high five. He said, way to go, man. All right, here we go. ...will be made as A-State will win a conference championship for a second straight year for the first time since the mid-'80s. Now, Knighton on the draw goes up the middle, gets the first down out across the 35. Gus Malzahn embraces with his coaching staff he heads out to midfield to talk with rick stock still following a dominating win on senior day the students are hopping onto the field they're going to come out and celebrate with this a-state football team that has ended the regular season on a seven game win streak they win the Sun Belt conference championship outright for a second straight year with a 45 to nothing win in front of the largest crowd in the history of Liberty Bank Stadium, 31,243. A-State wins it going away. Our final score, the Red Wolves 45.